everyone. So, yeah, I'm Penina Lesorogal, and I am from Kenya. I'm a Thai woman or, or Samburu. But uh, I live in Europe. I live in Austria. Right now, I'm in Austria. And um, I'm so grateful to be here. And I'm at the right place because it's a butterfly talk. And in Kenya, my tribe, the Samburu, are referred to butterfly people because of our colorful beadwork and clothing. The Maasai are known, I guess, worldwide with, uh, because of colorful um, dress code. So I'm so glad I'm here. I'm in my community. <laughs> and also, I'm a, I'm a, a woman uh, who was born and raised in uh, in a Maasai village and I'm among uh, the first girls to go to university in my village. And it wasn't easy, it was very rough. Maybe I can share uh, my screen and show you some photos. Don't know if host disabled participant screen sharing. Can I share my screen please? Yeah, okay, so I was born and raised in, in uh, a Maasai village, Samburu village, and I, I wanted so badly to go to school, and, but people were like discouraging me on, no, you cannot go uh, to school because girls are not allowed to go to school, they get pregnant, they drop out of school, you know, all this, and girls are born to be to, to, to give birth to children and just take care of the family, but I, I didn't listen to them. And so, yeah. yeah, so I was born and raised here in this village. And yeah, I, I got so many discouragements because I'm a woman that I'm not supposed to be in, uh, uh, to go to school. So I, I went to school anyway. So I don't know if you see this photo. I, I, I wanted to show you this photo. Do you see this photo? Yes. yes. So this is me. I started school when I was 13 years. I was very old and everyone was laughing at me. Yeah, I'm too old for school, but I started anyway. And this was my first school uniform. This is me and my brother and my sister in front of our mother's house. It's a Maasai uh, Manyata. So um, that's my journey, how I started to go to school. But then when I was in the university, um, it was on a, like a Wednesday and my dad was calling me that I should come home by Friday because on Saturday is my wedding day. And I didn't know my husband. I don't know my husband, but it's traditional, it's culture. I respect my culture. It's the most beautiful uh, thing that happened to me, but there are also some things that are dark or not good and since then I wanted to change the position of women in my village so I went to I got married to this man but it didn't work out because I was already educated and I know my ways and I had education as a weapon and so I, I got out of there and I came to Austria and then when I came to Austria I started um um, bid work uh, as an empowerment uh, weapon uh, to women in my village, those who never had an opportunity to go to school like me. So I started bid work and, and you can watch, maybe there's a video, um, uh, maybe later I, I will share my, uh, all the websites things and you can see the video, but I can just show you some photos of the women who I'm uh, working with. So I started uh, women empowerment uh, work in my village where we make bid work and then I come and uh, sell them in Europe. So I have like an online shop where this is me uh, in my village and my, the women, most of the women are my family. We, we grow up in a village where the community, uh, uh, like Tina said, um, there are these natural uh, or cultural villages uh, in Maasai, it's community, everything is community to us. So uh, these are my family and most of the women here are my family and the whole village is family because we are one clan. So we do beadwork, we make beautiful beadwork together. 
Uh, these are just photos. I'm just going through the photos to uh, show you what I do, these women. And also I wanted to include the men because uh, in Samburu, growing up as a Samburu or Maasai child, there are always games for boys, there are games for girls. You don't do this because it's only boys who do it. You don't do this because it's for girls. But I always grew up in this sense of doing the things that I'm not allowed to do. Like in my community, uh, a girl or a woman is it's a taboo for a woman to hunt. And I used to hunt when I was a teenager, I used to hunt gazelles because we, we live in the nature. We depend in the nature, we depend for our animals. So I used to hunt gazelles and we roast in the forest and eat. And when we come home, my mother is trying, we, we were four sisters and my mother was trying to give us food and we say we are full and she's like, oh my God, they committed a sin because it's, a, it's, it's like a taboo for a woman to, to hunt. So I always did the things that uh, we were told not to do because you are a woman. So I, I wanted to, to, you know, like to separate that. I didn't want to grow or my children to grow up in such a, um, a community. Okay, I love my community, it's beautiful, but there are things that I want to change. So I started this um, bid work and I wanted to include men also. These are young, very young uh, warriors. They are called Morans. And they also make bid work and they pay school fees through bid work and also young girls. So that's what we do in my community. And these are the uh, finished products. When I finish them, I bring them to Europe and sell them. These are bracelets. These all are bracelets, necklaces. They're so beautiful. That's why we are called the butterfly people. And recently I started a very beautiful uh, project. Like a month ago, I was in Kenya, uh, the project of agroforestry. So I come from a semi-desert place where it's water is so scarce. And right now people are moving from one place to another, looking for water, for pastures, for their animals, because we are nomads. We, 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 the planet is our home. So we move from one place to another. When it rains like somewhere, we move there. And so that's what, what it is in, uh, in our village. So recently I thought maybe we lack rain because of uh, our environment. Maybe we could change that by growing some trees around. So I started this uh, project of growing trees. There's a, a video that I prepared, but I, I don't think I have time for that. So, and yeah, we still do, we do all together with women and men. Basically, when I started this, I wanted to change the position of women in my village. But then I remembered that there are things that we are limited. There are things that, that the society doesn't want us to do together. I want to live in a community where we work together. There's nothing like, this is for men, this is for women. I, I really wanted to bring out.